blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine. The what is the crack, lads? It is the Midnight Kid here, and we are back with the podcast, and I'm joined again by. I'm not, I'm getting worried, right? I'm actually getting worried because <laughs> you're. I mean, I had to ring you about five or six times to see could you come on the podcast. Your publicist, your you know your PR oh. team. You're getting a bit too uh, too much of a celebrity now for for this little podcast. But uh, uh, we are joined by the beast and the legend that is Wes. Uh, Wes, what's the crack, man? How are you keeping? Uh, uh, big time Wes in the building. Mate. Very, very, yeah, no, <laughs> he's got the like green screen and all in the back. He's putting me to we, shame, you know. Yeah, it's only it's only because I don't want to show you the the, 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 <laughs> the spare room is. No, uh, obviously, uh, yeah, uh, kind of before or before the last. Oh, sorry, no, since the last podcast. It, obviously, I'm I'm now back on the the commentary team for the uh, the eFootball. Team. Yeah, man, but you kept that one quiet, boy. I told I I see that uh, there was, you know, he's professional listen, now, ladies and gentlemen. Got, That's what he got has got to, to do. When you've got to be when you've got to be Sam Fisher, you've got to be Sam. Fisher, <laughs> you know? You've got to, you've got to keep it on the low. You keep it on the low. But yeah, no, it's it's been. It's been in the works for a fair bit. I'm obviously delighted to be back doing it. Or that, you know, it does come with its uh, with its trials and tribulations, shall we say? But yeah, it's, it's been it's been a great experience so far. And uh, yeah, as of recording, we've got match day one or match day one and two this weekend. Saturday, so, yeah, yeah. Be, uh, be interesting. Yeah, man, he'll smash it as always. But uh, yeah, back to back to our our weekly podcast. It's been a while. It's not been a weekly one now because we have missed a week. I think um, through a combination of I was away for a few days. Uh, recharging the batteries and then my PC was was uh, was having technical difficulties so um, I'll take the blame for it but there's a lot a lot of it's, it's like it's all the time with eFootball man a lot has happened but not a lot like not a lot has changed really um, we're getting kind of big reveals we're getting a lot of content or you know coin tent as people like to call it where it's kind of coins and uh, spending money on the game and stuff We've also got, since we last spoke, was kind of V1.1 out in the wild where it's been, you know, we've had time to play it. Now, admittedly, I've only played about three or four games because I was away, but I did play two or three yesterday um, and it was kind of a mixed bag. I did put up a YouTube video on it and I was talking about my my initial impressions and I know me and you have spoken about it, but yeah, I mean, let's dive in and we'll get it, get into all like the dream team power packs and all that towards the end of the video. Um and a couple of other bits and pieces, obviously Neymar and Messi and all that ambassador packs coming. But let's talk about V1.1 because that's what most people have been asking me, my opinions on, and you as yeah. well. Um, like, what, what what are you thinking, man? Are you back kind of out in the cold again with eFootball? Are you kind of enjoying V1.1? Like, what's your initial impressions, so to speak? My initial, my initial impressions of it, and, and granted, it, it, I was streaming at the time that the 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 football league stuff came back to life, or at least yeah. the events came back to life. And and at the very early going, it, it felt really responsive. It did felt really like, oh, okay, well, the dummy in seems very good, and 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 these bits and bobs were working quite well. Uh, and and then as as the week has gone on, or as time has gone on, it's just feel like it's. Just, the quality of the game it has kind of fallen off a cliff again mm. uh, and and not necessarily on the whole like it it it, it, it still feels a, a a a you know a six or a seven but yeah. it, it, it's more a case of now the issue is is that we've kind of we've gone back a bit so mm. the ai has gone back to that kind of we don't know where the ball is you know, <laughs> fend, fend for yourself, they forget they're boys, on the pitch kind of know. way yeah and 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 then there's this there's this delay that has crept in mm. where it you press the button you'll see the power bar charge up every every and I know made this point to you everything feels like it's a stunning shot even yeah though you've not done, yeah yeah you've yeah, not yeah you're dead right you have it stunning it's like everything is stunning yeah and then it's like it, it's that kind of and maybe it's because I'm spoiled maybe it's because I've you know had my you know, holiday or sabbatical. I, I've I've seen the other side of yeah. uh, football video games where games are too responsive and yeah. too quick and too too fast. Mm. And now I'm kind of coming into a game where I'm back to at least with version one point one, it feels like we've gone we've gone back a step. But mm. version one point had that nice balance, had that ability to you to you know play nice football. It, it was responsive to a point. It, it but it feels like now we're going backwards again. It feels like the more that we add on, the 
further the game goes back. Mm. You know, we've had the objectives tab, which, you know, my, my first reaction. Yeah, it was mm. disappointing because it, it, it was essentially, it, it's it's essentially what feels like a risking of what was the old My Club Records tab. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of feels as though, the, you know, we're expecting to applaud stuff that was already there and yeah. not dressed up as something new. Yeah. And it's like, at least have a little bit of kind of ingenuity, at least mm. have something different, you know, have, have you know, uh, kind of responsive uh, objectives. So, you know, if you pull out a player, like we spoke about before, if you pull out a player, then you've got timed objectives on that player or you've got something that doesn't require you, you know, signing players shouldn't be an objective yeah. because you're just encouraging people to either spend money or spend their GP. Mm. And and that, that shouldn't be an objective. It should be goals, assists. Uh, it should be, you know, with an Italian team or with a yeah. with a national team or with a team from that league or, or a mixture of anything, you know, a minimum of however many players. There should be some type of variety there and it just doesn't feel that that objectives tab has landed. And then mm. when I saw... What I saw when it was, oh, we've got premium objectives, but they're obtainable via coins. I'm like, hold on, what? Like, mm. and because it hasn't really been explained as to what that actually means, yeah, I'm now left in a state of confusion. Going, does that mean I've got to pay for them with the match pass? Does that mean I've got to pay with them in a power pack? Does that mm. mean I've got to pay with them through just just oh, unlocking them with coins? Because then it feels again like we're unlocking content behind a paywall yeah. again, and it's like it just feels a bit. It feels like as 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 good of a as good of a point as it was to have them included that the lack of creativity has then kind of nerfed that mm. on top of that with the the gameplay issues that we're now seeing rear their heads again mm. it's kind of compounded for those people who were like ah oh, you know what? i'm back in the series and then it just kind of pushes you away again and it's like i just want to play it i just want to play <laughs> it in the state that it was in not having the the issues that we're having you know you don't want to get you don't want to have a situation where you're kind of down to like say I don't know, DP5 as it was before, that fabled DP pack that made everything brilliant on, you know, PES 2020 and PES 2021, you don't want to hand it up when it's now, oh, well, version 1.5 is, is where it's going to be fixed, guys. Like, you just don't want to be in that zone. You really don't. Yeah. Yeah, man, I think you've covered everything there, and I can I can sense your annoyance even, you know, coming through the screen, yeah. because I think I'm right there with you, is that, like, I, like, it's very hard, like, for me, especially because, like, I'm really enjoying the game. And I know me and you have had different kind of experiences with the game, um, which kind of like at, at its core, everything I kind of preface is like at its core, like I'm enjoying the gameplay. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm enjoying the dream team. I'm enjoying being able to go out and pick your players. But as time goes on, like you need to continuously like update your CV. Do you know what I mean? Like, or yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's, that's kind of what they need to be doing the whole time is that like, if they add something or they adjust something or they tweak something, look, they're going to get some things wrong, but it, it's very hard when it goes from me enjoying V1.0, which I like, I love V1.0 and people can disagree with me. I love the dream team series. I did. I had some awful, awful games, but I had some really, really high highs and really low lows. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the journey. That's what kind of my club was always about for me or an MLO. Yeah. Um, and like I played a couple of matches on the V1.1 and I do agree with you. I I just think it's a step backwards in some parts. Like I found the defending was a little bit more responsive if you were in control of the player. But when they didn't, the defenders were just kind of standing around like making silly runs, like leaving it. space open. Yeah. That wasn't there in V1.0, or at least I hadn't noticed it in my 70 plus games. It wasn't, um, I suppose it probably wasn't as prevalent. Yeah. It wasn't as prevalent. And I, yeah. think the, I think the issue becomes is that when you have that element of control mm. away from the player, with regards of whether it's deliberate or whether it's accidental in yeah. terms of the, the, the way that the, the game's been constructed, well, once you take that element away of a game being in control of the player, mm. the game is no longer skill based. It's no yeah. longer based. It's hard on, to control it's, what you're doing. No, like. Yeah, it's no longer based on. Oh well, actually, I selected that player, and then I've made that tackle, or I've made that, and you have those elements. Mm. Instead, it then becomes essentially a lottery. Yeah, it really, do. it becomes a. Ah, oh, well, did did my L one change player? Did that select the right player? And then did my button press go at the right time, or was it delayed, mm. or was it? Was it yeah because it's very hard yeah. man because if you're like i've said this on like on videos and stuff before and it's like 
you will obviously be fully aware of this and any of the guys that play pro and especially with the competition that you're going to be commentating on and analyzing like when you're yeah. playing a game right if i go from playing a game a certain way and doing certain things a certain way yeah i can have an off game or two like anything do you know you could have an off game or two yeah, yeah. where it's like oh i should have scored that or i, I overpowered that shot or i should have cleared there or whatever but it's very hard to go from like learning the mechanics of the game and playing 50 hours using those mechanics of the game to then something coming along that changes it and it's like okay i'm pressing i'm doing everything that i was going to do before but now the yeah. game is treating my like controls and my input differently and i think that's yeah. like that's what like kind of annoyed me the other day when i was playing i was straight through on goal at maradona and i was like shoot like shoot and like yeah, he yeah. didn't shoot and i was trying to shoot and put into the corner and instead of shooting he took about two extra touches and turned like his whole body and then shot the power bar came up yeah, and yeah. obviously got intercepted but like i can accept certain things like that every now and again if they're like going to actually look at it and whatever but then you're talking about like from a content point of view you know what are they going to focus on now moving forward because I was even surprised, right? We put up a poll the other day and just to bring this in, I'll get this up on the screen here for people. You, you might be able to see it, Wes, but um, yeah. like I was surprised and I'll read it out the results. You probably saw them, but we just put up a poll and this was on June the 8th, which was yesterday around half four. And we just said, look, which do you prefer V1.0 or V1.1 so far? And like 57.9, so 58% voted V1.1, which to me, I would have thought it would have been okay, well, like, I'm fairly in tune with the community, I would have thought, like, I talk to you, I talk to, like, Sep, I talk to Spoonie, I talk to Ricky, I talk to all these guys, and they're all saying that V1.1, you know, is not as fluid, or some things are better, but some things are worse, whatever. So, like, the people that are voting here are obviously enjoying V1.1, do you know what I mean? So it, it kind of brings it into, it's like, who should Konami listen to, like, in terms of feedback? Because the stuff we're complaining about might not be what other people are complaining about it's similar to coins some people are buzzing that they can go out and buy a barcelona squad for 20 yeah. quid and mm -hmm. like i put up a youtube video earlier and there's about 10 people like oh i don't usually spend money but this is brilliant this is class look at the cards they look so on fire whatever and then there's other people thinking this is terrible like this is the debt to the franchise this is this this yeah. is that so it's yeah. very like it, i think i think that yeah. poll really opened my eyes as to it's a small, small sample size. And obviously we're f being, you know, people that follow the, the Pez Uni Twitter are Pez fans, you know, they're playing the game and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I made the point to people that like, I get frustrated sometimes in a way because it's like, you know, at the end of the day, we're a, we're a fan site, like we're a fan community. This is a fan podcast. Yes, we have our opinions one way or the other. You know, we can be, you can be negative or positive, but at the end of the day, there are opinions and we own them like live yeah, here, yeah, right? Yeah. But like at the end of the day, we have to talk about the things that are being like brought out. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, I'm not going to start tweeting about like dogs or cats or about cars or yeah, 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 fishing rods. Do you know what I mean? And I think yeah, that yeah. that's that's sometimes where I step back and I think, and it's like there are some people listening to this podcast that will be loving V1.1 and will disagree with us, and there'll be some people that will agree with us. So it's kind of like yeah, where I'm, do you like where do you draw I'm, the line as to like the feedback? Like what do you think they need to do with V1.2 say if Well that's 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 that was gonna be my point on that on that poll is that in in the sense of the, the question is is that what what are you preferring? V V one point oh V point one point one point one. Mm. And and that that question there is is quite open ended in in a sense because it depends on what you are answering that question on. If you're enjoying the content side of things, then actually you've got objectives. You've got, like you said, you've got power, yeah. power packs and stuff. You've yeah. got a master packs coming, and and listen, you know, you you've got people who are getting, you know, we've got pre coins, we're getting, you know, apology GP, we're getting all of this stuff, which is, you know, it's it's fine, but it, it you know, to some people that may be like, oh great, do you know what? That's that's a that's a that's an additional batch of feature players that I don't have to pay for. Yeah. That's that's you know, you know fifty k GP is like oh well, that means that that means I've got to afford Ronaldo now mm. you know so so to some to to some degree if you are looking solely at the content side of things for people with B point one point one people might be looking at that going mm. yeah actually do you know what this is great because we've got loads of stuff coming now to yeah. to some people whereas actually you you know you might have some people that might be like actually you know uh, I'm reviewing that question based on 
I I prefer the gameplay of V point one point oh yeah um, yeah don't prefer the gameplay of v1.1 mm. so it depends on what your your metric is there i think it you know to, to your point about voices and and about you know what you may have anticipated through that um through that poll is, is that you have a section of people who are vehemently enjoying stuff regardless of what it is uh, i've mentioned this type of thing before you have your people who are very much just ready to just dunk wherever possible mm. and then you've got a couple of pots in the middle you've got a yeah. couple of pots where you've got people who are like oh, do you know what i'm not enjoying it but i'm still playing it <laughs> and then i'm still not happy with the it the last five fair. or six years which which is fair because do you know what if you don't like the other footballing alternative yeah no it's on show then then you'll get you've got no other alternative like i've gone on record god knows how many times now saying to people do you know what if e-football is your only source of gaming yeah I do feel a sense of empathy yeah, of course. Empathy with people because if the game isn't quite right where you want it, mm-hmm. then your you know escapism and, and yeah. the ability to get yourself through some some times, you haven't got that mm. crutch. You haven't got it because you're there going, I actually hate the game that I <laughs> used to love. Yeah. And now, you know, and the other the other interesting part of people you have is you have your people who don't give you an allegiance one way or the other. Mm. They will ha- they will happily coast through Twitter. Or, and life never giving an opinion one way or the other mm. they won't tell you what your opinion is or their opinion is one way or the other and they'll just go yeah actually i see that poll click there you go yeah don't need to put yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, i'll just enjoy it i enjoy it or i don't enjoy it yeah so i think i think some people oh well i think i think people in general need to understand that yes you are quite right there are a majority of people who are enjoying the game regardless mm. and people who are enjoying the game for what it is whereas the people who are being negative for negative sake that's not helping anybody because mm. regardless of how you feel about the game they are still adding stuff to it it might not be to your liking and it might not be the stuff that you're asking for it might not be master league it might not be edit mode it might not be uh, become a legend mm. it might not be any of this stuff but they're still adding stuff for uh, for at least for their what they are probably now considering is their key their, their, yeah it's their main yeah. fan base now man that's yeah. that's the biggest thing that with people um, that still haven't still haven't we were talking about this last year people still haven't understood that we know and you know and everyone listening here knows that follows pez this is basically pez like rebranded and reskinned like it's the same yeah. team it's the yeah. same development style it's the same lack of communication with it's certain the, things it's the same it's the same legends yeah same it's now. exact same it's, thing just, like everything is the doing, same blueprint they're just doing it in a different they're just doing it in a different way yeah they try and get they dress it up as oh we've got Barcelona legends this time or oh, we've got great finishes yeah. this time. Oh, but the big one, or... the one big thing yeah. about it, the one big thing about it is, is that like you can't complain. Well, you can, but in my opinion, and this is probably a harsh like point, right? But you can't complain about something that's not in the game and criticize something that's not in the game, unless it's there to be criticized unless you just want to complain. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Jay? I'm not saying you can't have an opinion yeah, yeah, and okay. say there should be master league. I'm not going to keep going on about it. I, uh, yeah, I want co-op. Oh, oh, I want Master saying. League. Yeah. I'm saying to you yeah. is that like it feels as if to me that like we like it. It's like getting into conversation with somebody and saying like, you know, right? I don't like you. Okay, why don't you like me? I just don't like you. Okay, but can you give me a reason so I can maybe you know like fix the relationship or fix their it. friendship? No, I just don't like you. Okay, sure. <laughs> bye. So there's nothing else. And then they're like. Oh, why are you walking away? Why won't you talk it out? And it's like, sure, what's there to talk? Do you know what I mean? And it's like, it's yeah, this yeah, passive aggressive yeah. type of, we get it. Like, Mass League is a huge disappointment that it's not there. Edit mode, the option files, become a legend, like everything co op. Like, co op was, yeah. I was lo- most looking forward to co op to like do a load of content with my YouTube again. That's not there. And it's hugely disappointing as an eFootballer or a Pez fan not to have those modes in the but, game. Random selection yeah. match, the Pez shop, whatever you want to talk about, right? It's Scenario not there. Mode, all this stuff, yeah. it's not there anymore. But, I, I think, I think that the, yeah. the, 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 the salient point on it, or the, the point I, I really want to kind of drill down on, is that th- these modes, yes, all right, should have been there. They, yeah, they of course they should have been there. Be. It's, it's either a case of, it's either a case of, and this and this is, this is depending on how you want to look at it, they either really messed up September that badly, mm. right? That they had to then go back and just fl- fling everything into the bin and go, let's try and start again here. And now that we're at this point where, you know, in terms of development phases, 
it feels like we are almost in the Stone Age because mm. we've got what we've got one game mode in a game where you've now got people coming out. You know, I think it was Kimura who had the the interview with Mayageka who was like, "Yep, yeah, stuff's not coming till winter. Mm. It's not coming." Till yeah, we winter. have a brief it's, roadmap it's now. Not, like... It's not coming. It's not now. It's not coming till twenty twenty three, and it's like. But then all of those questions then lead to people going, what are you doing in the meantime? Mm. What well, we're seeing the what they're doing in the meantime. Like, we're seeing it. Like, that's that's what yeah, they're but, doing. But people don't want to accept yeah. that that's, that's what I'm trying to say to you, is that, like, I'm as unhappy as any other long-time veteran Pez fan. But, like, my decision is either to walk away and be so unhappy that I'm not going to play it, or else play what's actually out there and judge what's yeah. actually out there. And I know that that's, like, a very simplified version of like breaking down that whole argument and people no matter how many times i say it, people say say oh like you know you're putting up tweets about the new agents and the new legends yeah. and it's like from, from you know a, what more can we do like do yeah. you know what i mean from, from, a, from a community standpoint you you have to you have to report the the news that's there like yeah. there's no you can't go oh we've got new stuff there's new stuff that's been released today but actually we won't make any comment on it whatsoever yeah we'll just pretend like it's not happened like, yeah yeah, but if, if if at the end of each tweet or at the end of each message you have to go, but we still want mass league, yeah. we still want Eddie Mode, we yeah. still want the, you'll be there forever. Yeah. Because literally you'll be there as as uh, for everything going, oh actually we, we need to you know, we need we need to constantly say this and, and yeah. it's just it's just not the case. And there's like, people that are actually but, enjoying the game that might like might open yeah. their Twitter once a week to follow us or follow you or follow me or follow Ricky or Spoonie and they'll see a video that's three minutes long that can bring them up to date with all the news. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, oh, exactly. I'll look at that and I'll forward it into my WhatsApp group and then all my friends know the latest news without yeah. having to follow every tweet like we do. Do you know? Yeah. So I just I just think it's very I'm getting slightly triggered like because it's getting very hard to consistently have to explain yourself why it's like it's like that thing like and i see sep when he streams and i see other people when they stream right it's like spending money on coins man right i spent money on coins this year because i wanted to get maldini and i wanted to have a go at getting romario right or whoever i wanted to get eto whoever right i spent some of my birthday money yeah but yeah. like it's this yeah. justification that it's like you don't have to justify it but you still have to justify it it's like oh no no, no i'm not judging you but and it's like you know, like the reason that Konami are doing what they're doing is because they're a business trying to earn as much money as possible with their I've product. Said, and yeah, that's it, I've like, you this, know what I mean? I've said this on numerous occasions. A, a games company does not make decisions based for their fan base. They do it based on their bottom line. That's, that's, yeah. if, it, if it accidentally helps the community out, do you know what? They get some good graces out of it. That's, that's, yeah, but that's, they're producing content that people are support, like people are financially supporting. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it, like. Saying. Yeah, They're giving and, more and of what people are spending money on. Yes, and, you know? and that's the point. And that's the point here is that you know, for example, for every person that will turn around from like myself who will go, oh, I don't like microtransactions in games. I think they wreck games, etc., etc., etc. I've still spent money on the game this this year, and I have then still led into what is probably Konami's thought process, which yeah, is, of course. Um, oh, okay. Well, actually, uh, people were spending more probably on coins this year than probably they ever have done. This is free to play, more, yeah. Because it's free to play, they probably have more downloads than they've ever had on any of their games, like the, or, or or just even purchases on their yeah, games. So I as agree. a result, then for Konami, they're going to turn around and go, "Oh well, this business, this business model works." So the only way, if you are disgruntled or you are unhappy with the way things are, you have two choices here: you either like it or you stop playing it. Yeah, that, that's that's it. With it, and 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 I don't mean that in the sense of I'm saying, "Well, where says that you've got to like the game." My point is, is really simple, is that if you are that fed up of the way that Konami are doing things, the only way you're going to do something to make something make a change is by doing something yourself. Sitting there and badgering people going, oh, X, Y and Z spends coins or oh, you're part of the problem or whatever the case may be. You have to do take some own personal ownership of it. If you don't want to if you don't want to feed into the numbers that then make this game viable from a Konami standpoint, you have to stop playing the game. Like I, I'm going down that road currently because do you know what? Yes, all right, I've spent money on coins this year, but is the game in the state that I want to play? No, not. Yeah, but that's more it. like the thing I'd say to you about that, right? And I like obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I would say you're you're coming to that decision. You're not doing that out of um, what's I'm the, not doing it out of malice. I'm yeah, doing you're not doing malice. it out of malice or out I'm of like a as, kind I'm of like as, a strike. You're like I'm on strike yeah. until they give me what yeah, I want. Yeah, you're doing yeah, it as I'm, it's yeah. like I have limited time to play games and cool. to stream games. Yeah. I will play and stream what I want to stream. 
whether it gets me views or whether it doesn't get me views. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. about it's a hobby. Yeah. That's and that's yeah. Fund- fundamentally that's where that's that's the line I'm coming from. Yeah. You know, I said I said pre podcast. I've got Mario Strikers that's coming this week. Um, the the quarry is out this week. There's 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 a multitude of other games that I could easily go and play. FIFA is still viable for me. There's so many different things I can go and do, which is why I go down that point of going. I, I empathise and I sympathise with people who have eFootball as their only game. That yeah, of course, I do too. Because if the game is not there for you, you, you basically then go, okay, well, I've got a very hefty like paperweight sat on my desk mm. in the version of a, of a PS5 or an Xbox One or an Xbox Series S or an X. The, the, the point I'm simply trying to make there is that if you're not happy with it, just take a step away until, mm. it's, until, it's, until it's something where you go... You know, you can go and watch a stream, or you can go and wait, watch Med NASA, you can go watch Seth, or you can go watch whoever's streaming at that point. You can then look at their content and go, oh, actually, the game's where actually I want it to be. Cool, great, okay, I can get back on board now. But the the, the disadvantage that comes with that is that the door is now being held open with these power packs mm-hmm. in the sense of, yes, they cost coins, yes, they cost, uh, the, you know, they cost a microtransaction for you to do, Konami are not sitting there going, you have to purchase these to then do the game. But they are making it to a point now where they're going, there's this special stuff that's hanging out behind these. Mm. You've basically got to go and buy these. Yeah. And I bet you anybody that when the clarification stuff comes out, because they tend to start to do these clarification things where they go, oh, we've had lots of requests asking us this, that, and the other. The request will probably come out and go, yeah, actually, you can buy all of these. Yeah, no, and they'll definitely have, stack. They'll definitely and, stack, as but, uh, my but, you, but you'll have, but you, but that's that's the mentality that you'll then have. You'll then have people go, Jesus, if I don't stack, then I'm going to be left behind here. Mm. Like I looked at you, I you know, I said to you this week about about GP. It's like I'll stop playing the events because yeah. the event the events get you eight thousand GP at the moment. Yeah, and I look at it and go, I have all the players realistically that I want. So what's the point in me playing the events? Mm. You know, I can't play the football league at the moment because, again, uh, you know, for the points, what I'm saying is that the gameplay is not where I want it to be. Mm. It's it's dulled down the responsiveness. It's dulled down the AI. It's not quite where I want it to be. So I'll just go, okay, cool. I'll go and do something else. Yeah. I, I know not everybody else is going to have that. No, and I agree with you, man. It's, it, isn't a, it isn't a simple fix to just say, if you don't like it, lump it. Like, I understand that yeah. people are invested in the series for years. And even newcomers, when you come over and you start enjoying the gameplay, it's very frustrating when you stop enjoying the gameplay. I've had I it saw, happen to me yeah. with Warzone. It's happened to yeah. me with NBA 2K Online, where they add different features in that you're like, oh, why did you change that? Like, why did you take this gun and make it irrelevant? And I have to unlock this gun now because I'm getting shot saw, out of the sky. You know what I mean? I saw an excellent an excellent comparison, which was that v- v- version 1.0 is this is this generation's PES 2018 beta. Mm. That's, that's what I saw as a comparison. Now, yeah. you can take that as, as tongue-in-cheek as a bit of a, as a, bit of a funny... But it seems to be like, okay, we've got all these new players on board. Everyone's really enjoying the game. Everybody was like, ah, oh, do you know what? You know, we, we haven't even spoken about the, the sliding deadlines that there were for, oh, we, we you know, we're going to have the eFootball League back on the 16th. Oh, but we're actually, we've seen that we'll get it back on the 2nd. Yeah. Then it was the 3rd. Yeah. Then it was the 6th. And it's like, geez, if you're going to pull it forward, just just commit to a date that you know you can hit. Don't commit to a date you can't hit. Yeah. Um. You know, the, the large-scale maintenance that went down, like, what was that actually to achieve? Because, uh, you know, I've logged on to eFootball Mobile, and my team isn't the same as the one that's on my console. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's intended or whether that's not. I don't think, I don't think it's crossed over yet. It's different. It's just I mean, to link your Konami ID, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not... Just to, it, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean that I can go and play on the go. It doesn't no. Mean I can go and my team on the go. So no. it's like, okay, so what was the point in launching mobile? Yeah. And and uh, the reality for most people is they will be led back to the same conclusion, which is that it was it's microtransaction focused mm. because they know that if they get mobile out there, you know, there's there's they've got all of the agents that are the same that are on console. Yeah, everything is the same now. Mobile. Yeah. Literally everything's everything. Literally everything's the same. Yeah. And, and it's like. You know, oh, okay, well, we'll we'll get a whole bunch of mobile users because again, free to download. Yeah, they'll put somebody on it from from their their Apple or their Android or whatever. And it, it, it's just it's just it's just getting into that murky world again where we're looking at it going, well, the contents, you know, the 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 icons or the the legends are just reruns of what we've seen before. There's nothing really standing out at this point in time. Mm. I yeah, think the new legends are quite cool. Like, even though I know Ansu Fahi shouldn't have a legend card, but I, I, I think the idea behind that is cool. I just wish that there was more 
ways to maybe unlock it, unlock yeah, them. Do you yeah. know that kind of way? I wish there was a bit of a grind, like in NBA 2K, where it's like, right, I can spend 50 quid here and have a chance of getting him, or I can spend 50 hours over the next month and try to yeah. unlock him and know that you have that option. Whereas with this, you know, they are exclusive and obviously... It's locked in. Yeah, it's yeah, locked into it's the locking. actual pack. And like I reckon, as you said, you're going to get guys that will buy three or four of these. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like for 50 then, quid, you'll probably be able to buy four, I think, four packs or something oh, like 50, that. Uh, no, 50 quid would be, yeah, about, well, about 6,000. You'd definitely get three. Yeah, get your but three even, in it. But even then, it's just like, you just look at it and you just go, oh, okay, well, well, you know, there are going to be people who will do that, which is, oh, yeah. not, like, I'm not, I'm not having a dig. At no, no, of course not. It's just their money. Like. at the end of the day, it's their money. If they can do what they want, that's fine. It's just, my point is, is that if you are unhappy with the game, yeah. for example, you wouldn't then go and buy those packs. Yeah. Do you, know what I mean? do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You wouldn't then go and buy those packs. You wouldn't then go and uh, try and spin for icons or legends. You wouldn't go and spin for other players. You just go, do you know what? I'll, I'll do what I need to do. Yeah. Or, or if you're, you're, or if you're, you know, in that realm or in that mindset, you'll just go, do you know what? I'll get this mouse. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, you know, I don't like, you know, I don't like coming on here, you know, kind of, you know, against public opinion. I don't like coming on here and completely slam dunking you all the time. But it just gets to a point where you just go, this this is looking more pay to win than it's ever looked before. Mm. I don't know how you feel about it, but it, it's if... looking down, it's going down that road. Yeah, I think I think if the gameplay, like, if the gameplay, if the gameplay was to, like, when I was playing with the last, my series that I was playing in V1.0, like, I never come up against a team that I'm like, oh, this guy's team is so much better than mine that I can't compete with him. Unless, like, if he's better than me, he'd probably beat me with a similar team to mine. Do you know if he's a better player? Yeah. Um, but what I do think it does is it kind of, it kind of, like, it does two things. It brings over a brand new crowd that you're saying, like, oh, I can buy Celtic and I can have a 90 rated or an 85 rated you know, like Jota or my favorite player from Celtic or whoever it is or Rangers, whoever they decide to bring in future. Um, I do like, as I said, I do like the idea behind it and I do like the idea behind the players. But again, as you say, it's just about balancing things. And at the moment, there doesn't seem to be that balance there, especially yeah. when you talk like to me, I can I don't like have a big, a big issue with the with the micro transactions and stuff like that, because I can choose whether I want to engage in that or yeah. not. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and yeah. I know some people struggle that they're like, oh, I want to really want to get this guy or I really want to get him. If Roy Keane came out, all my rules and self, yeah, like, know, it. you know, would I go out it. the window. It, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not It's not that they're telling you that you have to do Yeah, it, it is just, it's, you it's are just rewarded hanging, for hanging, buying them as well, like, it's, with all it's the hanging, trainers. It's hang, yeah, it's hanging it out there to go, this option's here. If you wish to walk through the door, you can walk through the door. Mm. Like, that, that's the that's that's the line that they're taking. The, the but man, like it's taking. like in Warzone the other day, like <laughs> the lads are laughing at me because like they brought out this like Godzilla and King Kong um crossover event where like yeah, they yeah. were in the map or whatever. But they brought out these like skins, you know what I mean, where you could be dressed up as Godzilla. Sure, like I went off and bought it. Like I think it was about <laughs> I think it was about pff, it was about maybe twenty euro. I'd say maybe a little less actually. I'm not too sure. But like, lads yeah. are like, why did you buy that? Like, there's literally no... And I was like, yeah, but sure, I thought it was cool. Like, or the Scream, this, when the Scream came out, like, I was what like... It, like, yeah. I, know that, I know that there's no... No, I know what you're saying. I know there's no yeah, gameplay yeah. difference to... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying is that, like, the lads were laughing at me for spending money on it. I was like, well, sure, what about it, sure? Like, isn't no different than me going out buying, you know, like like what a, a game that I want to buy or like, you know, it's my money. I work now. And I know that that's very like a very simplistic, like all the takes I'm having here. Don't underestimate like that. I do know that like people spend the money and that is a big issue and that some people get addicted to doing it. Um, yeah. But yeah, for me, like I'll have to play a little bit more of E1.1. I'm not as prepared to talk about the gameplay because I did only have time to play a couple of games yeah. Um, and like I played one yesterday and he quit after like three minutes and the second game I played um, is up on the YouTube and it was fine. It was actually like I actually had a good time with it, even though there was a few input delay instances when I was watching it back. Yeah. Um, that's definitely been dis not, it's definitely needs to be improved like that input delay where you yeah. press a button and it just it just doesn't react to what you're doing, do you know? And I mean, and a lot of people I, see that as lag. Yeah. They're like, oh, the game is lagging on my internet's perfect. It's not got to do with your connection, I don't think. It's more so... No, no, no. It, 
the input. The input yeah. It, yeah, you'll, you'll see that the animation takes far too long after you've powered something up for it to happen. Yeah. And it was there in V1.0, man. I got caught a few times, but it wasn't as prevalent in this. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah, the, way, the way the way I kind of look at it from a, from a, from for, for at least from a, from a content point of view is if there was enough of a if there was an ability for you to generate coins in the game without having say the login bonuses or say for example there was objectives that had it where it was actually you you scored twenty goals in the next I don't know five games you yeah have, like I don't know, yeah coins. dynamic kind of ones. even 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 if it was something as small as oh it's a hundred coins I'd be like okay do you know what yeah. Fine. I've got an ability to earn yeah. currency. I think with the match game. pass, so that is the plan. Once you buy the match pass, but, if no, we well, haven't I, heard I'm anything about say, the match pass yeah, like in, I in say, ages. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say really sorted here. But how long are we gonna have to wait? I don't know because 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 if we're having to wait until 2023 for Master League and we're having to wait until you know for edit mode or some of edit mode, yeah, not all limited edit mode so far. Limited edit, edit, edit mode options in what? later in the year yeah or you've got to wait until winter for winter for, yeah for co is it winter for co-op is it i don't winter think they've mentioned co-op co i think they mentioned or winter or is yeah lobby? friendly lobbies and edit mode is in winter and then 23 yeah. is master league so you're having to wait for literally some of the most basic features that are in the game or have been in past games mm. you're having to wait a further at least what five months yeah it, like but it just depends to see what they actually like, if they've put in as much attention into, like, Master League or Edit Mode or Become a Legend in that they've done to Michael, like, to Dream Team and the fact that they've really, they have really thought about Dream Team. I know that the objectives in that are bare bones at the moment and the gameplay is kind of, yeah. there's not much to play for in the games. Like, there's no real benefit to playing the yeah. events. Um, but I think that the, pre the premise behind Dream Team, like... You know, we only yeah, have to go back two weeks. Like people were yeah, yeah, hyped yeah. until they took out yeah. the divisions. There was serious hype there with the divisions the last yeah, the first we, month. We commended, yeah, we commended all of the innovation, or at least a lot of the innovations they. Yeah, did it was brilliant. I thought I think Dream Team is brilliant, man. I do honestly. I'm not gonna it's say just, that I it's, don't. It's other, I think it's, it's just the other bits that go with it. Uh, but I think the the issue that they are going to run into, or at least they potentially could run into, because uh, as you pointed out earlier in the podcast, we don't talk about stuff that hasn't happened. Yeah, yet because. You just get yourself. I mean, I, I personally don't take. I personally take that as a rule because you just get yourself wound up. Yeah. But if, if, and it's <laughs> we used to do that before. <laughs> we used to before. We used to just get irate over the littlest things. But for example, if they haven't taken that duty of care with Master League, with become a legend, if they haven't taken care of the offline player base, mm. there will be open revolt and mutiny. Yeah, but I think they you will. You only had to look. You only had to look at the eFootball Championship Pro Twitter thread. When, mm. when 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 they announced reply, it, yeah. going, oh your your favorite uh, your favorite <laughs> tournament's back and everyone went what master league mm. and everyone was like uh, no no yeah no. that's funny and it's like but you can see that there is a palpable need for that offline game yeah. There's oh, definitely, man, definitely. There's a huge and, hole and, there. If there was a master league out there now, that was like groundbreaking. Like, just from a gameplay and an actual, like, investment into the mode that you could lose hours and days in it. That, like, it was so good just to play and reward yourself from playing the AI. Like, there is a huge, there's a huge demand there for something like that now, I think. Yeah, here's, here's one, here's one for, for Twitter, for, for once we've finished it, or once we've finished this recording. So you'll probably be able to vote on this afterwards, right? Is that would the offline player base take a bare bones master league now with the promise of a fully or fully fledged one in 2023 mm. so if they came out in the morning like pez 2021's they, you know what, just ported if over they took, if they took a ported over version mm. of it for now with the promise of we're going to have a souped up deluxe version yeah all right it'll be dlc but you know what it'd be absolutely worth it here's all the innovations we're working on yeah would you take it would mm. you take it as a holdover and i don't think people would no no i don't think so. rightfully point to it and go they've had they've had they've had since has 2021 to do this mm. they've had this and, and it goes back to the argument and and as much as we hate hearing it it's the most valid argument that is out there is they've had the time yeah they have had the time to get used to the tech they've had time to 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 give across the the version of the game that they wanted to uh you know we you know i often laugh about the 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 the, the words that are on the website it's like oh this version surpassed all of our expectations mm. and i'm like really mm. like this this really surpassed your expectations mm. really like 
I do think though, man, like it's easy to get, but like, like the last podcast we did or the the one before that, like, you know, it's very easy to get like, like high and then low, like, because I think that's gaming, especially when you're part of a fandom. Like, I think personally, I think when you rip it all back down, like I still enjoy the gameplay of eFootball and I have to spend a bit more time with V1.1. Everyone I've talked to, that have played it for I'm just after getting about four messages there off off uh, B man I'll give him a shout out where he's given out about V1.1 um I didn't really read the message but literally everyone has ha- is singing from the same hymn sheet to have said that you know it's player switching oh, or it's defensive well, AI that's a mess public, publicly that's what you're seeing yeah privately but but even from that standpoint you're still people are still going ahead and proverbially bashing their head up a brick wall because they're playing a game that they're saying isn't yeah. good enough. Yeah, they're hate so, yeah, playing they're still, it. Like, I mean... they're, still feeding, they're still feeding into the numbers of yeah. games played, time spent on game, uh, currency that's been spent in game. All of these metrics that probably they wouldn't even think about as a metric to yeah. look at, that's, that's what they're feeding into. So, you know, for every four angry messages you're getting from B-Man, at the same time, that means that there's four games out there that B-Man has played. Yeah, he's still playing it. That That's B-Man, And I'm the same. You know, I'm still playing but, it but as well. Is, the, issue, yeah. the issue then becomes is, is how much noise needs to be made mm. for there to be some type of change. Because everyone's making noise, yeah. but it's not changing it's not being backed so up only, by data though because so the only, that's yeah, the thing exactly. it's like man yeah. it's like me walked, going down there like i was like love island started the other night and the missus i was sitting on the couch like and i was on you've my lost, phone you've lost the audience now. yeah yeah they, 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 they know the exactly where i'm going to come from with this and i just like the girlfriend just eventually said to me if you roll your eyes one more time now like i'm going to smack you in the back of the head and she's like uh, like she didn't actually she wouldn't actually hit me just in case people are thinking but she was just saying it like and i was like i was like oh why well, do you watch this and then i was like realized myself i was like sure like i can easily just walk upstairs and play the computer or like i don't like she wasn't forcing me to watch it with her and then i just yeah. sat there and i just actually just like watched it just because you know anything i ask her it's to on. watch she watches with me so yeah, i just yeah, stopped yeah. being a little baby so like i think the thing about it is that with e-football like sometimes people can confuse like you know, passion and like being passionate about something and wanting it to improve and believe that it can be improved for optimism and like blind loyalty. Like, you know, we know the flaws, we know the feedback that we send back either privately or publicly having built up relationships and, you know, like yeah. being a community in the, in the Pez scene. Like, I think everyone that plays the game knows the issues and knows the flaws, yeah. but that doesn't like mean that you can't, enjoy certain aspects of the game and yeah. like it doesn't undervalue every single like opinion that you have on it that because oh my god like you you can't yeah. complain about the game because you spent think, one euro on coins and it's like oh sorry I think, you know i think i think i think that the, the best way to sum this up and this will be this will be Wes's final thought my, my final thought on it is is that for all of the good things that they are doing mm. it, a being kanani and, and releases and everything else it's all getting undermined by all the bad stuff. Like, if you were, like, the scales of justice, it's like all the stuff that's really bad is completely mm-hmm. outweighing any of the stuff. So, so yeah. all of the innovation stuff where it's like we gave them credit for, you know, taking away the ability, uh, or at least giving people the ability to pick their own formations, going down their own tactics, the coaching affinity, the player uh, yeah. play style. Yeah, the talk behind it. The, the, the suggested stats thing, which I find is great by yeah. the way, when you're training your players. It, all of these different little innovations are now just completely suplexed into the middle of next week because instead now the focus is we're back to player switching issues, we're back to AI issues, we're back to not feeling in control of your mm, own team. The input. We're back to all of these different things that were sold and were fine in V1.0 because universally you can go back Yeah, V1.0 to- was very well people, received, I thought, yeah. People were talking like, yeah, all right, it, you know, myself, I told, you know what, they just need to tighten a few things here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like they've gone, I tighten, you meant loosen? Oh, okay. Ooh, <laughs> loosen. Take off the screws and altogether. And now all of a sudden you've got a three-wheel car rolling down a hill and it's just kind of like, what are we, what are we doing? Yeah. So I think it's just back to the drawing board. Yeah. Uh, and, and for any positives that we we could have or that we should have it's just getting out it's just getting outweighed by those those negative bits yeah I think that's, but that's kind of week to week as well man like next week we could yeah, be saying oh they did a patch or they did a hot fix yeah, and the game is so smooth it, they, now they, they, and... want, 
Uh, That's the thing. The potential is there. Like, and I do think that they have seen the light that like, you know, critical, being critical constructively is worth anything. Like if you're able to receive criticism and say, you know, we've got criticism for the podcast. We'll probably get it on this episode. We get it all the time where you go back and you own your opinion and you engage with the person that's criticizing you and say, yeah, look, I respect what you're saying. I think this way, you think this way, but I do understand what you're saying, but look at it from my point or I'm trying to make this point or that point. Like instead of just blocking that person and like, you know, like yeah. that's, that's, that's just how I would, how I would deal with it. Everyone is, nobody is beyond criticism. Like, but yeah, I would think, man, yeah, let us know, lads. I'm going to let you, as I'm going <laughs> to let you do the outro as usual. Um, yeah. I botched the intro with, uh, with the first one, but, uh, it should be all right when we, when we put this up. Yeah, but, uh, it'll be all good. I'm yeah, sure man. we will. So yeah. So yeah, if you have been watching this, obviously, thank you very much to, uh, for watching all the way to the end. Uh, as you can tell, we're on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on SoundCloud. We're on anywhere that you can get a podcast. Uh, I have been Wesley FC. He has been the Midnight King. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Take Peace. Care.